Hello everyone, welcome to A Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. I haven't done an update on the plateau in quite a while. Uh, we just had that big rain event yesterday, so I thought I'd come up and see how things are doing. We had originally planned to put a large piggery up here on this plateau. This was a hill. Uh, where I'm standing was about 15 feet higher than what it is now. It's a, higher than that pole was before. Uh, but we flattened this area out. I'm guessing this is a couple thousand square meters, 1,500, 2,000 square meters. We had anticipated putting a uh, hundred sow piggery up here, but uh, due to budget restraint constraints, and uh, even when we were uh, contemplating putting this up, we were we were beginning to see the problem of finding uh, caretakers. Uh, we couldn't even find caretakers for the piggery that we had, let alone one up here. But we had flattened this out. All these posts had put in, been put in. Uh, these posts were kind of the final straw. The crew that I had working up here with blueprints and specific instructions uh, put them in the wrong place. And when that happened, I just threw my hands up in the air and said, we're done. But we would built this room here for feed storage. And we put water up here. It's probably off right now. It should be off. This water, this water line, yeah, it's off. This water line was ran all the way from the water tank, all the way around down through the rice fields up to here. So that there would be water up here. So it's on hold at the moment. No plans to do anything with it. A large problem up here was the erosion. We didn't know that underneath uh, 6 to 12 inches of topsoil there was sand. And this is basically beach sand. And this is what you would find on Anda Beach around here. And so, not so prevalent on this side, but on the other side, and I'll show you in a minute, we had a lot of erosion. It wasn't so much that the side of the, of the new hill was eroding away, but that the water was percolating in not so much on this side because there was substantially more clay mixed in with the sand here but on the other side we had built uh, curb curbs and gutters and get through here to keep the water from running off the end and eating out the bank so we put these curbs and gutters in here to channel the water off to the sides. And on this, on this side of the plateau it worked perfectly. The water came along, it's so overgrown up here I can't even walk along it anymore. The water came along, flowed off the flat into this area, and then it channeled on around the corner here. and went off the end. And everything worked according to plan on this side. That's where it drained off, right there. There's our native limoncito tree right there full of limoncito. They actually look like little tiny oranges right now. It survived the drought somehow. All the dogs are fighting in the distance.
Well, they pretty much quieted down. This is right on the edge of the clay side of the plateau, and this is as far back as we took this curb and gutter. In hindsight, probably should have ran it all along this rim because the water has come down and undermined it right here. Getting in this side is getting a little closer to the sand. So it ate it out there. All right, now this area here is a perfect example of the problem that we were having here. The problem wasn't the water going over the edge of the bank and eating it out. There's so much sand here that the water was percolating down into the sand and flowing like an underground river. And as you can see, this is four or five feet away from the bank there and probably 30 feet away from the bank there but this is where the hole is and that's just because the water would come down through here and it would start to go south it would just percolate into the sand and make like a quicksand and instead of going over the top of the sand and into the curb and gutter it was just eating out underneath And of course here, this area here has all been destroyed. It's all eaten out underneath it. I'm not even going to walk along it. But the problem, again, you can see, the problem wasn't this, the water going over the edge. It was percolating in here and going underneath the curb and gutter and not even draining into the curb and gutter. It was just going underneath I had thought to put this, this is the big problem was down here, I had thought to put this little half moon here to divert the water around so that it would enter the curb and gutter before it got to this area over here because this was the first area where we had the problems. Again you can see here uh, percolating underneath before it gets to the curb and gutter. Same thing here. Now, we did extensive cement work in here, but the water just seeps underneath and undermines it from the bottom. It's not that it ate it out on the far bank, it ate it out from underneath. I'm not even going to walk over there uh, because it's hollowed out underneath it. I don't want to take a big dive up underneath there. But this was probably two weeks of men working up here trying to get this figured out. And even having this water diverted around, around this edge, because it drains all the way down this way, just the water that was here inside this little half moon was enough to go underneath right there. And because this had been diverted around, had a large flow of water here. It ate it out right here. You can see it was eating out before it even got into the curb and gutter back here. And it's undermined it here. This is probably going to be another challenge. Getting through here. Doing the same thing along here. Eating out before it gets to the curb and gutter. Need to get the guys up here for a couple days and have them clear this out some. And this, we took this, this curbing all the way around. I mean, that, you can tell from that right there, there was quite a bit of water coming down right here. Some of the same problems going here. Now this is one of the few spots 
where it was actually eating from the bank back. But even at that, it didn't eat out underneath the curb and gutter. I can't get through there. So, bottom line is, is that all this is on hold up here. At least, at least until the, the erosion stops a bit. And then this is the edge here. And the, I'm not going to walk through that jungle and show you what's going on back in there. So that's the update on the plateau. Maybe in hindsight we should have terraced it instead of making one large flat area. But like they say, hindsight is 2020. It is what it is. The only other real option as I see it to ever make this viable is to pave the whole thing to keep the water running off instead of percolating in and that would take a lot of dollars probably have to begin the cement probably where that van is and go along in this line here 10 or 15 probably where that little hole is right there and that's a lot of cement from there to the edge so for now it's just sitting thank you everyone Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.